spring is a lovely reminder that change is beautiful. After months of cold temperatures that often result in many of us feeling the winter blues, spring reawakens us and our surrounding environment, bringing everything back to life. Warmer days means more time outdoors enjoying nature and less time indoors. It's time to take out our slow cooker from the cabinet and start using it so we can spend time doing things we love instead of cooking in the kitchen for hours. Today I'm sharing a slow cooker vegetable curry recipe that I'm sure you're going to love. Let's get started with the recipe. For this recipe, I'm using a small slow cooker here. You can also make this recipe in a stove top. I'm going to turn the slow cooker on high right now. I'm going to add half cup diced onions, one tablespoon finely diced garlic, and one tablespoon finely diced ginger. Next, add in one tablespoon olive oil. Next, I'm going to add one can chickpeas that I have rinsed in water. Following that, I'm going to add potato. Here I have a medium potato that I have peeled and diced. It's half cup diced potatoes. Next, add one teaspoon salt, one fourth teaspoon black pepper powder, and one fourth teaspoon turmeric powder. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon paprika. Next, I'm going to add 1 teaspoon coriander powder and 1 and a half teaspoon of cumin powder. After the spices, we are going to add 3 tablespoons of tomato sauce and 1 tablespoon of tomato paste. Now, we are going to mix everything together and then add 2 cups of water. You can see here that everything is nicely submerged in water. Next, I'm going to add half teaspoon red pepper flakes. However, this is completely optional. I'm going to mix everything again uh, nicely and put the lid on. My slow cooker is already on high, so I'll let it cook for four hours on high. But if you're cooking uh, on low, then make sure you cook it for at least uh, five and a half to six hours. After three and a half hours, I'm going to add another vegetable. But uh, right now I'm going to go and run some errands and I will see you back in three hours. It's been around three and a half hours. Next, I'm going to add fresh spinach. You can see here the potatoes are done. Here I have a cup and a half of baby spinach that I'm going to add into the slow cooker and let it cook for around 20 to 25 minutes. It's been 25 minutes now and uh, I have been cooking this whole vegetable curry for around four hours on high. It looks good, it looks nicely cooked and it smells amazing. As you can see, it is such an easy recipe with uh, simple ingredients commonly available in our pantry. This goes really well with rice or flatbread of any kind. I really hope you like this recipe. If you do, then please like, share and comment. Your feedback is very important to me and I always look forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions, do let me know. And I will see you very soon with a new video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.